Well, we are streaming live, and this is a stream in California, the In Your National Forest, In Your Face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A good picture like that is good because it has scale <laughs> car uh, figures in there. And you can get a really good sense of the size of the stream, the size of the trees. Mm -hmm. If there's a, a human being in the picture, and that's just something that is very important to making good photographs. Here, here. So there, there we are above the battleground, looking down. It'd be really nice to just stay up there, but let's see what the book says. Do not remain in conflict, for there is no war without attack. The fear of God is fear of life and not of death. Yet God remains the only place of safety. In God, there is no attack and no illusion in any form stalks heaven. Heaven is wholly true. No difference enters heaven. And what is all the same cannot conflict. You are not asked to fight against your wish to murder. But you are asked to realize the form your wish for murder takes conceals the same intent, which is the attack upon the truth. And it is this intent you fear and not the form. What is not love is murder. What is not loving must be an attack. Every illusion is an assault on truth. And every assault on truth does violence to the idea of love because the illusion seems to be, seems to be of equal truth. A little bit of a convoluted paragraph to read through, but... Yeah, I think he makes some good points there, and, and uh, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get better at that. There's no compromise between truth and illusion. They're mutually exclusive. Accept any form of illusion as your reality, and you deny the truth of heaven. The return to truth is to be found only by complete vigilance for God's will. We must be willing to give all of our perceptions over to the Holy Spirit's guidance. Without one perception from the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Excuse me, withhold one perception from the guidance of the Holy Spirit, and we get to keep our little s self and specialness. Which we don't want. What can be equal to the truth, yet different to the truth? Murder and love are incompatible. Yet if murder and love both are true, then must murder and love be the same and indistinguishable? From one another so will murder and love be perceived to be the same to those who see god's son as a body wow. for it is not the body that is like the son's creator and what is lifeless which is the body cannot be the son of life how can a body be extended to hold the universe can a body create and be what it creates? And can a body offer its creations all that it is and never suffer loss? ACAN states that we cannot believe that we're an extension of God and also believe that we're a body. The body is a symbol for the illusion of separation and limitation. God, like his creation, cannot be limited. The body is powerless and only obeys the mind. The Son of God must be the shared holographic mind of God. He can't be the lifeless, egoic illusion that we call the body. You're muted, Dad. God does not share his function, which is to create with the body. God gave that function to create unto his son because it is God's own function. 
It is not sinful to believe the function of the son is murder, but it is insanity to believe the function of the son is murder. Something I said there was wrong. It is not sinful. It is not sinful to believe the function of the son is murder, but it is insanity to believe the function of the son is murder. Okay. It's not about being sinful. It's about insanity. What is the same? God and his son, the Christ, they have no different function. Okay, so what is the same? God and his son, the Christ, they have no different function. Creation is the means for God's extension. And what is God's means for extension? Must be his son's means for extension as well. Either the father and the son are murderers, or neither is. Life makes not death, creating like itself. Creation is different than making. Creation is based on an extension by giving all that one is. Nothing is withheld, as everything is given to the creation. In creation, God gives everything to us, because he is everything. Creation comes out of love and unlimitedness. Creation is life because it is real and eternal. Creation is the function of the mind of God, which we, the Christ, share. Making is contradiction and exclusion based upon belief in fear and limitation. Making's goal is not extension, but rather an attempt to separate and split the indivisible whole into parts that are less than the whole. Being an illusion, illusionary, mad idea, making is not shared within the mind of God and has no reality. Making has no existence outside of the mind of the dreamer, and thus it is not life, but the absence of life, which we call death. Within the dream of separation, making is the attempt to substitute the false for the truth, an illusion for the reality of heaven. Making takes place in the illusionary dream world of individual perception. The world of perception embodies the belief that separation was real and that the separation appears temporarily to exist in time and space within the dream itself. Because creation is extension, the sonship, which is all God created, as God created it, must also be everything that God is. God is a oneness, and we must share that same oneness of everything with God. There is one mind, and that is the indivisible mind of God. Our will must be God's will, for we are one and the same. The Son cannot be different than its creator, since that is not the creator's will. The sonship, an effect of God, can't change God its source. We can deny the truth, but we can't change the truth. When we make, we deny the reality that we are the unlimited extension of the mind of God. This denial of our divine birthright can't change the truth of the real world of heaven. Nor can our denial change the truth about our real nature. We continue to be God's child, perfect, whole, and complete. Our illusionary dream cannot change the will of God. Our dreaming that we sin does not make God or ourselves a sinner. The dreamer only needs to awaken from the dream, and the dream will disappear into the nothingness from which it arose. The lovely light of your relationship is like the love of God. Your relationship cannot yet assume the holy function that God gave his son, for your forgiveness of your brother is not complete as yet. And so your relationship and forgiveness cannot be extended quite yet to all creation. Each form of murder and attack that still attracts you and that you do not recognize for what it is which is a fear-based attack against the truth, limits the, fear, the healing and the miracles.
you have the power to extend to all. Yet, does the Holy Spirit understand how to increase your little gifts and make your little gifts mighty? Also, the Holy Spirit understands how your relationship is raised above the battleground. In the battleground, the relationship is no more to be found. This is your part to realize that murder in any form is not your will. The overlooking of the battleground is now the overlooking down on <laughs> of the battleground is now your purpose. The battleground here is the world of perception and form. When we ask for the guidance of the Holy Spirit, we're lifted above, seeing the egoic form, and instead look upon our perception with the vision of Christ. The form that our egoic senses had once perceived will give way to the underlying content, and we will ask only, what would love have me do? We cannot exchange misperception for correct perception without the assistance of the Holy Spirit, who will raise us above and beyond the thought system of the ego. Content is the expression of the emotion of either fear or love. With vision, the Holy Spirit understands fear-based emotions are only a cry for love and thus responds with only love and forgiveness. Be lifted up and from a higher place, look down upon the battleground. <clears throat> from there will your perspective be quite different. Here in the midst of the battleground, the battle does seem real. Here you have chosen to be part of the battle. Here murder is your choice. Yet from above the battleground, the choice is miracles instead of murder. And the perspective coming from this choice for miracles shows you the battle is not real and easily escaped. Bodies may battle, but the clash of forms is meaningless. And the battle is over when you realize the battle over meaningless bodies never was begun. How can a battle be perceived as nothing is when you engage in the battle? Wow, that is a very terrific question. That's how you get past this stuff. How can the truth of miracles be recognized if murder is your choice? You're too um, enthralled in being right in the battle and charging in and proving yourself yeah, and defending yeah. the truth. That's right. <laughs> Who needs to defend the truth? Fake news gets defended. Real news and the truth doesn't need to be defended. <clears throat> All right. We will perceive attack as necessary as long as we perceive ourselves to be a body. As long as we follow the egoic thought system, we will battle to overcome our perceived sense of lack. The thought system of the Holy Spirit reinterprets our misperception of separation and lack and reawakens us to the truth of the oneness. When we reawaken, we realize that the dream of separation was not real, since it's not the shared will of God. Since we have forgotten that we are the dreamer. We cannot expect the ego to know the truth. We need the gui guidance of the Holy Spirit who is above the dream to tell us the truth. And that, my friends, is really the truth. The truth. <laughs> Lee, I just want to thank you at the end of this just for a moment, helping me through yesterday to publish my first blog, with your help, I could not have done it otherwise. And it was really exciting for me after 54 years to finally publish the beginning of my story. I definitely agree. And that's where I'm, I'm also publishing each of these videos that we make 
at least a little synopsis to bring it all together so that we've got that kind of combined thing. So that's all at prairieshoot.andron.com. If you'd like to go take a look, there'll be a, a link down below. That is a message from our sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> sponsor here but right. anyway, we're having a good time letting you know what we're thinking about and we'd love to hear what you're thinking about thanks for listening yep.